What's up everybody, Brocam here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install Chirp on Ubuntu. Now I'm not the most foremost expert on Linux, but uh, I know just enough to really mess stuff up. So I wrote a script to do it for me and I'll show you how to use a script. All right, now that we're in Ubuntu, uh, this is a fresh install. So the first thing I'm gonna do real quick is just uh, make sure I'm up to date on everything. And while that's updating in the background, we can go on over to uh, my GitHub and uh, download the package we need. I will put this link in the description. Uh, it brings you to this page. It explains to you what uh, uh, packages are gonna be installed, what they're used for, tells you how to use it, and uh, it also warns you that uh, this will remove a library used for connecting Braille devices. Uh, so just for warning, if you use a Braille device on uh, Ubuntu, do not run this because it will uninstall those drivers. For some reason, those drivers conflict with the uh, the CH341 uh, SER drivers. Uh, I'm not sure why. There are other workarounds, but they're all kind of kludgy, and this was really just a lot easier for me to get through to have a little simple script for myself. Uh, oh, I realized I breezed through what I was doing there with the updates. Uh, you can do it through the package manager, the normal uh, Ubuntu package manager, but uh, all I ran was um, a uh, sudo apt upgrade or update and a sudo apt upgrade, and that just gets all the package. Um, checks for new packages and then installs any of the new packages it finds. Now that we have a script and it's downloaded, we can extract it here. Uh, we can dive on into that folder and then we can open a terminal in this location. And uh, if you recall, I said the script uh, even tells you how to run it. So let's go ahead and copy this first line. Shift insert run. Okay, that has, all that has done is made the script uh, executable. By default, it's not executable. Let's take that second one, and this is actually running the script. So now this is gonna run through, it'll automatically remove that one package I talked about, and it's gonna automatically install a bunch of other packages. It's gonna download the uh, CH341 uh, SCR drivers, and it's going to get the latest version of Chirp and download and install that. All right, so we can see the script is done here. Uh, I've noticed that the sometimes the uh, wheel script, uh, which is the Python script that's downloaded for the Chirp, sometimes doesn't download right. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's something with how I'm getting the version. Uh, and... If that happens, I would just try to rerun the script and see if it works. Um, maybe actually try to go to the Chirp website and see if you could download it for yourself and then try the script again. But uh, I, I had that happen once or twice and I just reran the script and, and it worked. So, all right. So if we look here at the bottom of the script, it says successfully installed Chirp. Uh, it gives the version. It says instructions to start Chirp saved to the desktop. Please reboot the machine. So now we can just type reboot all right our machine has rebooted so let's take a look at our chirp instructions it just says run start chirp.sh uh pretty basic uh but another thing you can do uh, i think if you double click this i don't think it'll run yeah it just opens as the script so this is the actual script to uh uh, it makes and loads the uh, driver for the USB cable and then it runs Chirp. Um, I prefer to have my device plugged in first. Let me plug that in. And I'll show you how to run this. There we go. That's uh, plugged in. Uh, so what I do is you right click and you can hit run as program. But um, it says, would you like to install a desktop icon? Uh, I say yes. And now when you go to your show applications, 
do, do, do. There it is on the second page. So we can just add to favorites. Although I would recommend running this from this start chirp script to make sure that the driver gets loaded. Cause that is the biggest issue I've noticed with the uh, uh, Linux on, on chirp on Linux is that the, the driver is just so finicky. But I'm gonna download my uh, radio image from my Huangsheng UBK5 and uh, I will put a link to this cable down in the description. I know that some of the cables um, have a counterfeit chip and they don't work as well and some others. This is the one I have. I got it straight from the uh, Baofeng store on, on Amazon and it has worked with every single one of my K-type um, programmable radios. Oh, turn my radio on. Okay, go to radio, download. Looks like it's showing up right here. Scroll on down to uh, Quan Sheng. And we want, hello. Okay, we'll click and hold UVK5. Uh, accept the risk, yes. And I say, okay. Say okay again. There we go. Here's all of my uh, current radios for the area I live in. Uh, these are just for listening. Don't come after me. Um, these are not. These are for talking. So. And uh, you can also add things here. So. Let's change. Let's change something. Let's get rid of this channel. Because I never use it. So let's do this memory and shift blocks up. Okay. So now channel four won't be that W whatever. Because uh, I don't use it. So now I'll hit upload to radio. On Shang. And we'll say, okay. All right. That. Is done programming so now we go to channel 4 you'll see if my exposure comes down you'll see that it's the k8sch uh, repeater so that's it that's uh, hopefully the script helps somebody uh, I, as I said in the beginning I am NOT a Linux guru I know just enough to be dangerous and uh, it, what are your thoughts on it? You know, it's, uh, did I do, did I do okay? Did I help somebody? One person, that's all that matters. Um, like I said, link for the cables in the description, link for the repositories in the description. It's all in the description, all of it. So that's it, 73.